Welcome. In front of me is an LG K11 and today I will show you how to transfer files from an SD card to a phone or vice versa. So to get started we will need to open up the file app which is right here in the management folder and it's file manager. Upon allow so it can gain access to the files itself. And from here uh, by default as you can see we're in the internal storage which is the storage of the device. But if you tap on it you will also get have access to the SD card. Now I'm actually going to go out of here and open up camera just so I can capture a couple photos uh, so I can transfer them as an example uh, later. Okay, there we go. So there are my photos. So those will be the example I will use as how to transfer. And by default I believe there will be on the phone itself so let's just quickly check it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so brief overview. Uh, photos and videos that are captured with the device can be located under the DCIM. Uh, pictures will have uh, screenshots and that you captured on the device. Uh, then downloads will contain anything from pictures, photos, uh, media, anything that you have basically downloaded on your device. So that would include any kind of attachments from emails, uh, files from a browser. Everything will be in the downloads folder. And then rest like uh, music, movies, stuff like that are usually placed there by the user itself so you should probably know that there is something there that you're looking for. So once you find whatever that is that you want to transfer, which for me like I said I'm gonna transfer the photos that I have just captured as an example, all you need to do is, let's see how you select here, um, so you choose one of the op options right here by tapping on the three dots and you have option between move or copy. Uh, now both of them do have something a little bit different. Move will basically remove them from where they are right now and move them to the new location. While copy will keep the original files where they are right now and add additional set of the same copy uh, into a new place. So choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to select move and then you can actually select them. So you can see the boxes right here. You want to just tap on the files that you want to move like so. Now you don't actually need to select all of them. You can select a couple, you can select also all if you wish by tapping right here. Uh, or you can actually even go back, so let me just cancel this, go back and do the same thing. So I'm just going to tap on move and you can just move the entire folder like so. So you just select the entire folder and all of it content. So I just tap on move. And then once you tap on move it gives you the two options where you can move it. So the pictures right now are on internal storage, so the storage of the device. So I want to move it to the SD card. So that's what I'm going to choose, SD card. And you can see that there is already a DCIM folder. Uh, so I can tap on it, but it should be empty. Just check it. Yep, you can see that it's empty. So you can actually go here. And disregard the fact that there is the same folder called camera, it's empty. And if I press OK, it will want to override it. So you can choose to override it. Uh, and tap on OK. And now if you open it up, you can see that there are all the photos right here. All right, we're still kind of loading, but yeah, they're here. And we're now in the DCIM section uh, or the SD card section. So because I chose move, if I go back to the internal storage where the photos were, you can see that now it's fully empty. And the same process works for any kind of other file. It doesn't need to be photos uh, or folders. It, you do the same thing for any kind of file. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.